Hello everyone, last video I talked about the uh, Russian RS Sonat uh, done by Xcar Toys, a very recent release. This is something that was released a, a, a while ago. This is the Mercedes uh, 600 Pullman, uh, chassis code W100, and this is the limousine version, hence the Pullman. Uh, this is made by the company GCD, and I'm going to quickly show you the uh, uh, packaging first, Gain, Gain Core products. It's a Chinese brand. Uh, it is actually properly licensed, I am pretty sure. Uh, uh, it's here somewhere, right? There, there's German writing on here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's properly licensed with uh, GCD, but it's it's hard to tell. Uh, but yeah, apparently they have an office in uh, Nuremberg? Nuremberg. Oh, here. Uh, Mercedes Benz and the design of the uh, enclosed Prada, da, da, intellectual property, da da da, right? NCG Modella GmbH under license. Yeah, it is a licensed product. Um, uh, one thing interesting about the uh, it comes with an acrylic display box. Uh, I'm not going to show you that because well, ah, uh, why not? We're already here, right? Uh, it does come with one of those acrylic display boxes, but it's it's uh, a little bit different. You can see uh, it does not have any screws here. Instead, uh, it gives you a little bit of plastic blisters to keep it inside. So it's easy to take it out. Uh, you can see, uh, uh, well, not quite the reflections. Right, all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll go all the way. Uh, it's, it's pretty tight, actually. It's very nice. A uh, very nice piece of uh, photo edge metal. Mercedes Benz uh, Zex Honda uh, Pullman Limousine. How do you say limousine in German? Presumably because it's a long word from French, it'll be limousine, right? I don't know. Not one of the essential vocabulary words I learned when I was learning German. Uh, nevertheless, let's put it back, which, yeah, it's a little bit unwieldy, but it's nice, right? It, it still gives you a, um, a display case if you want it, but you don't really have to use it if you don't want to. And it, as you will see very soon, it, it, it also doesn't leave kind of like a mark on your model either. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, sorry, just gonna put it all back together. It's gonna be probably gonna be pretty loud on the microphone and I apologize for that. But this is the beauty itself. Um, metal body, metal chassis, and you can see no screw holes, which is pretty nice. Uh, rubber tires and lens headlights and rear lights. So, uh, yeah, a very nice piece. Uh, this is one, as you would expect, is on the uh, more expensive side of things. I think it costs around like, uh, actually, 30 US dollars is not bad for something this nice, right? I feel like. Uh, but again, did it? I have no idea how, how expensive it will be where you live, though. Um, this is manufactured in China, and GCD, I'm pretty sure, is a company that's mostly focused on the Chinese market as well. So it probably will be a, a bit more expensive elsewhere, especially if you're, like, in the U.S. But um, let's start with the uh, front. And this is my pretty much my only complaint is the... Um, mm, let's see how the lighting works. Uh, it's a little difficult, but you see the pole man printed on the... Um, on the uh, front bumper, that's not that's not really any not really really nice. I I would prefer if just not there. The mesh grill is incredible. Look at how detailed it is. And the uh, Mercedes Star. Uh, there are other companies that do Mercedes Stars as well. Uh, I'll probably eventually show some uh, Shukos and some um, Mini GTs. But this this is the best of all. Uh, another piece of metal edged. Well. Photo edge metal is great, and you can look at the um, headlights as well. The uh, the, the multiple colors, it's, it's great, it's incredible. Um, let's go to the side, the uh, silver trim. There is no uh, quality control issues, uh, as far as I can tell, with the paint, casting, axle, steering, anything like that. Uh, you can see the uh, silver mirrors on the right side. Just incredible, um, it's a beautiful machine. Uh, lights at the rear. You can see uh, this pole man is it's a lot nicer. Um, it's actually a little. Oh no, I think that's right. Uh, uh, but yeah, just having it on the like the license plate look makes it look a lot better. Uh, Six hundred written on the back, Mercedes Star, and again, like like I was talking about, was this not right? Black paint uh, gets dirty so easily. Um, Dirt, dust, fingerprint, everything. And uh, at the bottom, you can see, um, yeah, old metal chassis. And it's 
uh, doesn't have any um, screw holes that'll mess with the thing. Uh, silver uh, chrome plastic piece for the exhaust pipes, all really, really great. Uh, and you can see, yeah, it's got steering and that's incredible and it's out of focus. Uh, look at how intricate it is. It's almost like a real car and it's great. And um, yeah, it's this thing rolls, right? Uh, it's not a Rolls Royce, but it rolls. I'm s I apologize for that terrible joke. Not great. Obviously, it wouldn't be like a Hot Wheels. Uh, rolling down the orange track, especially, it's not going to be able to turn very easily with how long it is. But it's, it's, it still rolls. And oh, by the way, um, God, sunroof. You can see my. Ugh, you can probably steal my identity with how clear the uh, fingerprint is showing. Uh, oh, yeah, the. Um, and you can see from, especially from the side, the um, yeah, the windshield wipers are their own piece, tiny pieces of metal. And you can see it is actually vertical to the windshield. I've actually never noticed that. That's incredible. Uh, the interior is nice as well. Uh, you get a tan interior with a black steering wheel, which you wouldn't be able to see uh, properly because, oh, that's better. Uh, that's a lot better. And you can see the uh, glass divide between the front and the back is there too from the inside. Overall, I think this is just incredible, like incredibly detailed vehicle. Uh, and uh, I'm, this vehicle actually comes with a V, uh, V8. And German engineers swapped the V8 into a much smaller sedan, creating the 280 um, SEL, right? 280 SEL, 280 SEL, right? SEL, yeah. 280 SEL, which uh, later the AMG... Um, also, you see a 300 SEL to create the uh, 300 SEL uh, racing version, AMG, um, the, uh, Rota, the uh, Rota Zawa, the uh, Red Pick. So all of them are kind of in the same lineage, and this lineage kind of uh, spawned what is now the um, highest class of Mercedes, the Mercedes S-Class, uh, Zonda class. Uh. So, yeah, I think this is the, uh, but most importantly, this is the one, right, the GCD uh, Mercedes 600. Uh, pull man, I think this is a great vehicle to have if you're interested in Mercedes at all. If you're interested in like, or just learning about the brand, the product, I think this is great. Uh, it could be a great addition to your collection. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.